Let's take a look at what's happening weather-wise. A few showers out there this evening, plenty of mist and drizzle around the bay, but the bulk of the rain is falling farther to our north once again. They definitely need it as well, and hopefully as we progress farther into fall, the storm track is going to drop a little closer towards the bay area. As we head through the next couple of days, high pressure is going to rebuild overhead. That means the return of offshore winds tomorrow. They're going to be gusty at times, and as this builds closer to us by Thursday and Friday, we're going to see our temperatures jumping up to above average after today's high temperatures were well below average. Looking outside right now, looking towards the Bay Bridge, and we'll check our rainfall amount so far. Two-tenths of an inch in Bodega Bay. So along the coast, you have picked up some measurable rain, about six one-hundredths of an inch in Moraga, Half Moon Bay, San Francisco, barely more than a trace. Same thing for Fremont, and nothing at all in San Jose. In fact, you've seen quite a bit of sunshine this afternoon and now into this evening. Let's track where the rain is right now. The actual rain, not the mist and drizzle that just kind of hangs in the air, that's going to fall in the North Bay. This rain shower activity is going to try to make its way across the rest of the Bay Area, but kind of run out of steam as it progresses farther to the east and southeast. Now, the roads are going to be wet because of that mist and drizzle around the bay and for the North Bay as well. So if you're going to be traveling out and about running some errands this evening, allow some extra stopping distance. These first few rain events, even when they're producing meager rainfall amounts, they do produce enough moisture to kind of reactivate the oil and other fluids on the roads. And so you can get some slick conditions, even with maybe a couple hundredths of an inch of additional rainfall. The best chance moving through the North Bay over the next few hours and again, just kind of falling apart as it makes its way across the rest of the Bay Area. You might see a few passing sprinkles inland in the East Bay and in the Santa Clara Valley. And then we'll see clearing skies as we head through the rest of tonight and into early tomorrow morning. The winds are going to pick up tomorrow. They're going to be offshore, and that boosts the fire threat. So in our fire danger index, which just ranks the fire threat from 0 to 10, we're going to be about halfway up the scale here for much of Sonoma County and elevated into parts of Napa County and into Solano County as well. Not as high as it could be this time of year, largely because of the light amounts of moisture that we're picking up right now. But as we head into Wednesday, even with slightly warmer temperatures, the fire danger isn't going to be as high because the winds aren't going to be as strong. We're not getting the hottest temperatures, the strongest winds, and the driest air to all line up at exactly the same time, which is definitely good news. So hopefully we'll be able to avoid any new fire starts and air quality is going to be good for the next couple of days, just barely into the moderate category by Thursday and Friday for inland parts of the East Bay and the Santa Clara Valley. It is damp out there right now as we look out from the top of the Mark Hopkins Hotel. High temperatures only climbed up into the mid-70s for the warm spots in San Jose and Concord. That is well below normal for this time of year. Those temperatures are going to drop down mostly to the low to mid-50s by early tomorrow morning. High temperatures tomorrow still going to be running about 3 to 7 degrees below normal. Low 60s along the coast, around 70 around the south end of the bay with low to mid-70s for the Santa Clara Valley. Inland in the East Bay, you're going to be the warm spots, but even the warmest spots are only going to hit the low to mid 80s, mid to upper 70s for the Tri-Valley, upper 60s and low 70s around the Bay with temperatures in the North Bay, mostly in the mid to upper 70s. Sonoma might sneak up to 80 degrees, but a little bit cooler farther to the north as you head into inland Mendocino County and Lake County. Temperatures warm up for everybody later on this week. It's just a matter of how much. Near the water, a modest warming trend into the low 70s for San Francisco with upper 70s for Oakland and the East Bay. More of a warm-up farther inland, well into the 80s for San Jose and the North Bay, while in the parts of the East Bay, top 90 degrees Friday and Saturday for the first two days of October. Not feeling very October-like for the first weekend of the new month, but temperatures should drop back down closer to normal by early next week.